Jojo and one of Jackie's middle grandsons. I'm going to read the poems 23, but one quick minute I want to say about my grandmother. She always told me I was the strength of the family. I was, I was a big, tough guy. And uh, she always told me she'll take me out. I brought you on this road. I'm the reason you're here. I'll take you out. I'm also going to say that I'm going to miss her doing her splits and me being there to pick her up. And who loves you, baby? The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down and greet pet green pastures. He leads me beside him in quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths. For his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. accepted everybody, every single person she met with open arms, no matter who they were or where they came from. It's a quality that we all should have, and I'm trying to have that quality. <laughs> I've always loved that about Nana. A tribute to our queen, our mother. She has many different names. Mother, Aunt Jackie, Queenie, Queen Jackie, Capricorn Queen, Nana, Nana Fergs, Nana Dukes, but to most of us, it is plain Jack. I'd like to just share some memories. Maybe you may remember some as well. Born to a family of two older brothers, she was the baby sister until Mickey came along when she was 14 years old. She idolized Mickey. He was like her baby. She met a Navy sailor, married, moved to Texas, and had four babies, Kit, Kim, Kathy, and Kelly. There she was introduced to the Lord and taught Sunday school for a few years. Things didn't work out after close to 10 years and she moved home to Boston. They lived mostly in Revere, Reading, and then Lowell. And lots of memories of Revere Beach days growing up. After six years, they moved to Reading. Then Nana lived in Reading, North Reading. Life has passed us all so quickly. Some memories. Entering the combat zone, Queen Jackie, exotic dancer, traveling with the Lawrence Car Carnival show, the painted lady trips, trips to the cousin's house in Chelsea, cousin's trips to Auntie Jackie's for the weekend, trips to North Reading, the Moose Lodge, the Horseshoe, Kitties, German Shepherds, used to breed them. She probably had over 100 by the time they were in their teens. It all began with first family job, dogs, Queenie and Bo. See, even our dog named Queenie. I'm sorry, Bo. <laughs> then we had Chief, and I can't forget cats. Every time you opened a drawer, there was a cat. Her last cat, Jet, still lives with her better half and lifelong companion, Howard, of 40 years.
and she was always loved all of us so much and would always make sure to take time, whether it was five dollars later on to give you for your birthday, six months down the line, she never forgot. It's one thing and would never forget anything. So for anybody. Take a minute and think of Nana. I love you guys. Thank you for coming. 